I just went to Harbor Freight and guess what I've got? The new and improved magnetic Harbor Freight flashlight. This light has a cop LED or chip onboard LED instead of the older style that uses regular LED. This seems to be brighter and it does not flicker like the older one. Let me show you the Harbor Freight ad here. You can see it shows the newer style LED which is this one and not that. So I think they don't sell this anymore. And previously I did a hack on this older style LED and it works great and all but it's a little bit too thick. So today I'm going to hack this new flashlight with an 18650 battery but this time we'll make it in a way that the battery will sit inside the unit without making it thicker. And after the hack, I will also do a brightness comparison between the two flashlights with my lux meter here to see which one is brighter. So let's get started. So first of all, let me show you what's inside this new flashlight. You got the cheap on board LED strip. Okay. It's very thin. You got aluminum uh, plate on the back. Okay. And then we got a circuit board, but there's nothing on it except a resistor and we got a three-way switch okay and then we got three regular LED on the front flashlights and that's pretty much it very simple on my previous hack I have two 18650 batteries on the back of the unit without modifying the case and that makes it a little bit too thick so this time I'm going to modify and cut out the case and put this battery inside so that it will be thinner and doesn't have to be this thick. So if I put the battery right in the middle here, I can cut out the plastic without touching the screw holes. So let's mark where I'm going to cut out the battery. So here it is. I cut out the hole the size of the 18650 battery and all of the screw mounts are still intact. And there are four screw mounts on the corner. And now I can put the cover back on. So here is the unit after I install the battery. I've soldered a couple of wires going to the terminal of the batteries and also a wire that goes out to my XT60 connector so I can charge the battery. It's time to put it back in. You see that it does still stick out a little bit, say about 3 millimeter. So when I close the cover, I got about what 3 millimeter gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some foam to fill in the gap to make it tight and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to fill in the gap. The original screw is going to be too short so I'm going to replace it with a longer screw. Here we go. Pretty nice. Let's check out what the gap is. About 2.7 mil. So next I'm going to use my hot glue gun and fill in the gap. There we go. It looks nice and clean. Now you can't tell that it's been hacked. Well, let's try and see if it works. Very bright. So next I'm curious to see which flashlight is brighter. I got a lux meter here and this will measure the brightness of the source of light. Well, some of you might say that this flashlight right here has an unfair advantage 
over this one because this one has two batteries in parallel. This only has one. But the thing is, this light only puts out about what? Half an amp max, maybe one amp, let's say. But uh, these batteries can put out three amp max or even more. Single cell is more than capable of supporting the current output of these lights. The only thing I need to look out for is the state of charge of the battery. So this one here is 4.11 volts. Let's see what this one is. 4.16 volts on this one. So they pretty much almost the same. This light puts out about three to four times the amount of light compared to this one. But this is not fair because this light output is focused onto a smaller beam, whereas this light is spread out evenly. So what we do is we're gonna test point blank. We'll put the light source right on top of the sensor. So the older light first, we'll put about, let's say, one inch above the sensor. 4,100 times 10. So that's about 41,000 lux. Point blank test. And let's try the newer generation. That is 6,600 6, times 10. That is about 66,000 lux point blank test. So there you go. This is a lot brighter than this. So there you have it. How to hack an old or new Hubble Freight flashlight. Let me show you again. This looks nice and clean and thinner. And if you want to charge the battery, I just use my TP456. Personally, I like this one better because it looks better, it looks nice. Even though I have to charge it more often because it got a smaller battery. But like the old saying goes, just like women, something looks nice requires more maintenance.